Cathedral City first responders are holding active shooter drills on campus while students are out on holiday break. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura is giving us a first-hand look at those drills taking place at Cathedral City High School. It's a scene that looks all too real. Students running out of the line of fire while on campus. This was part of an active shooter training organized by the Cathedral City Police Department. Elijah Juarez is one of the theater students who volunteered in Wednesday's training. Well, it makes me feel safe. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm fine here and that if something, you know, like that were to happen, that everything would be okay and that the police would know what to do. This was the largest active shooter drill organized by the Cathedral City Police Department with police officers, firefighters, and dispatchers all under the same roof, carrying out the same drills. If we ever do have to respond, hopefully never, but if we do, any, you know, anytime we have to respond out here in the valley, um, we all know what we're doing and, and we do it the same way. And with more than 600 mass shootings occurring in the U.S. as of this year, Cathedral City Police say they can use this training for any other kind of critical incident. The number one is get inside and stop the shooter. Number one thing. Secondly, is working with the fire department to get personnel inside of the area to start triaging victims, treating them, and evacuating them. These are becoming more common. I feel like it is going to be a little more mandatory for some schools. The Cathedral City Police Department recommends that parents speak to their children about the reality of mass shootings and that students follow whatever training their school provides. But also being aware, situationally aware of other students, maybe of, you know, any kids going through depression or um, giving any other kind of warning signs or um, maybe even threats. It's all in an effort to keep students and the community safe. In Cathedral City, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3. School staff and security were also asked to join and the training will continue tomorrow at Cathedral City High School.